looking around the mirror, making sure I'm not hitting anything on the other side. Keep looking, keep looking. Back in. All right. So it's driver's side. Can't see the cone. I'm just guessing. Can see it on the passenger. Hey everybody, this is Jake up here at Team O'Neill. Um, today we're going to be working on some precision backing, which is a technique we're going to use when, you know, road's too tight, can't, can't get the car turned around, maybe you're in a parking lot, dirt road, whatever the situation is, we're going to show you how to get that car backed up as effectively as possible. All right, now we're loaded up inside the car. First thing we want to think about, right, especially if it's not a vehicle that you're driving all the time or you're getting in, you know, somebody else's vehicle, you want to get your seat position right. We're going to get our seat position a little bit of bend in the knee as I reach the you know, clutch in all the way. This is a standard transmission. I want to get that clutch in all the way. So a little bit of bend in the knee for the seat forward and back. And the steering wheel, a nice little bend in your elbows so that you're not overextending your elbows as, you, as you're steering. Um, steering wheel on these Fiestas goes in, out, up and down. So that kind of helps. I tend to not worry about that too much unless someone has really moved it into an uh, extreme position. Most of them are pretty, pretty easy to deal with. Mirrors, right? You want to make sure you adjust your, your rear view mirror on the top so that you're going to see the entire back window of this car in that mirror. So I, that's a real safety issue, right? Is that I can look and just flick my eyes or turn my head a little bit and then I can be able to see that entire rear window out the back. So I can see if there's anything coming up behind me, check there for safety. Side view mirrors, maybe a little bit trickier. You're gonna wanna lean your head over to the edge, lean it over towards the window. And now we're gonna adjust that side view mirror until I can just basically see a slice of the car in that side view mirror um, and the horizon's just about evened out. You can play with that up and down a little bit Obviously, the farther up you put it, the farther in, in, the, in the back you're going to be able to see. If you lower it, you're going to see a little bit down more where the tire is. So for that passenger side mirror, I'm going to lean over the center console a little bit. And same thing. I want to make sure I get it adjusted so I see just a sliver of the car. And then just about equal on that horizon, top and bottom. So you're looking straight down the back of that vehicle. And so now as I sit here with my head right straight in line with the steering wheel, if I look at the rear view mirror and all these mirrors, it kind of limits the amount of blind spots that I have. So I can you know, make this as safe as possible when you're, when you're backing, when you're entering on a road. You're always going to want to kind of check your blind spots visually by turning your head. But I should be able to glance side to side and really kind of cover all of my, my zones here just by using those mirrors. All right, guys, now we're going to take it live. Um, I'm going to show you how to back up using your side view mirrors, right? Anytime that you're inhibited from looking out the back, you've got maybe tinted windows, you've got some stuff loaded up in the back of the vehicle, trucks sometimes, the visibility out that uh, rear view mirror isn't as good. We're going to really depend on these side view mirrors that we've adjusted. All right, so as we're backing up, you're going to look out your rear view mirror. Remember, the swing on the front of the vehicle is going to be much greater. When you're entering forward, you've got to swing wide on the way in. When you're backing up, you've got to kind of drive straight into it and then get the, the swing out so you don't clip the front of the vehicle on any of the obstacles you're trying to avoid. So we get this thing backed up. And now I'm looking out my left mirror here. I'm trying to pick up the very first cone that I need to slalom around. Good got the cone in my mirror. The problem is it's about to disappear from that mirror really quickly. This is where I'm going to have to for a second. I'm blind and I'm going to switch my eyes over to the right hand side of the vehicle so I can pick up that cone on the right hand mirror. Good. Got myself a little bit of clearance on it. Nice straight line in. It's easy because you can line up that vehicle with either your, your obstacle, the edge of the road, whatever you're trying to stay out of or stay close to, and you just keep it straight from there. 
But remember, it's all the things that are helping this vehicle in a straight line forward, the caster, everything that helps you know the wheel stay straight, keep the vehicle nice and stable, is fighting against you in this situation. Front wheel drive is turned into a rear wheel drive with rear wheel steering. So you've really got to minimize your steering inputs and stay steady, steady on the gas as possible. You know, that throttle can help you turn around, but it can also help you spin out in this thing. So the steadier the gas, the, the more stable we're going to be. So I've got my cone picked up in my right side view mirror, passenger side. I'm going to back up until that cone disappears from the mirror. The second that disappears from the mirror, now I can start adding in my steering angle. Right now I've picked up with that same mirror, I've picked up the next cone that I've got to go around. And I'm going to watch that one until it disappears. And I'm looking over to the other side and pick it up in the other mirror. All right, you're kind of glancing, keeping your corners in mind, keeping the you know, size of your vehicle is going to make a difference there too. As soon as I lose the cone out of this mirror, I know I can start my turn in, but I keep looking through that one until I pick up the next. That disappears. I'm heading to the third one now. Right now I've got this third cone lined up and our lollipop finish. We're going to do a circle around this last one, essentially a U-turn. So again, I let it disappear out of that mirror, pick up into this one. Once it disappears, I know I can go steering. This is probably where I could go to full lock. Typically you want to minimize that steering, but we know we have to do a pretty sharp turn here. We're going full lock around, just kind of keeping our eyes on that mirror. If you need to, you can glance to the other side. Again, picking it up on the left-hand side, it disappears, turning in, pick up the next one on the passenger side. Nice and straight, easy inputs, lose it on the right, get the turn in, pick it up on the left. Right, thinking about if you're in a front wheel drive vehicle, again, you've turned this now into a rear wheel drive, rear wheel steering vehicle, almost like a, like a, like a fork truck. All right, well, back in our start box here, we'll try and put a little bit of pace to this. You're probably going to see me have to glance back and forth just a little bit more, um, keeping steady gas through. You know, you could add gas through the corner in the front wheel drive, but you might get more out of it than you asked for. So I think the steady gas is going to be the key and kind of consistent steady steering. Don't give it all at once because it is going to turn pretty sharply here with this little front wheel drive car. All right, we'll send it. All right, we know we need to let it drive straight back here before we get our turn in. Once we get that turn in, pick up that cone on the mirror. Now we can start to pick up some speed. It disappears at a passenger, pick it up on the driver's side. Disappears at a driver's side, we're going to switch over and pick it up on that passenger. Right, each time the cone disappears behind the vehicle, we're going to have to pick it up with that other mirror. You're blind for just a second so you can pick that cone up again. All right, I'm looking out driver's side till I get my cone again. I right, know I'm past it. I can turn in and be safe. Look into the next one. Dis disappears out of the mirror, get her turned in. Look into the next. Disappears out of the mirror, look into the next. Do a little over the shoulder back into our parking spot. Back to the finish. All right, guys, we're going to try one over the shoulder here. Um, let's just see the difference. I'll probably be more aggressive when I try over the shoulder. I can see a little bit better. The other thing is you're kind of compromising your, your safety in this situation, right? Is if you get hit while you're backing up and you're turned around in your seat, that's not the way these belts are meant to, you know, keep you safe. Your body's twisted around at that point. So you're kind of at a, at a higher risk in this situation, but it may feel a little bit more comfortable for some people. So you may want to start your precision backing. You know, if you, if you have the opportunity to kind of look over the shoulder and practice a little bit this way and then start, you know, practicing, you know, with, with not solid objects, the other technique is if you turn in a little bit too early, you're going to be scraping off the side of your vehicle on that tree trunk or diving it into the ditch. So make sure you guys are kind of confident with this before you start really hammering down and just using those mirrors. It can be a little tricky. So I got my hand on top of the tape. 
I'm going to get my other arm. I can go behind the seat here, whatever's comfortable, so I can try and get a good look around the back of this thing. We'll see how this, this goes. All right. So I'm looking for that cone. It takes me longer to find that cone. But I can see a little bit better this way, right? A little bit of a lift. Look into the neck. I can't see the cone at all. Driver's side. Passenger side, I can see it. Can't see anything passenger side. So I'm going to have to go back to my mirror on this one. And keep looking, keep looking around the mirror, making sure I'm not hitting anything on the other side. Keep looking, keep looking. Back in. All right. So it's driver's side. Can't see the cone. I'm just guessing. Can see it on the passenger. So definitely a disadvantage there. Unless I crane my neck around really far, anything, any cone that's on the driver's side, I'm just really guessing where that cone is. It would be a lot nicer if I could look out that mirror. Let's give it one more, one more shot on the mirrors here, see if we can go a little faster even without clipping a cone this time. Again, remember, everything that makes this vehicle stable driving forward is kind of fighting me at this moment. We've got the caster on those front tires. It's designed to sort of let this front wheel straighten out under throttle going forward. If I let go of the wheel as I'm going backwards, its car might go to full lock, right? Let those wheels turn in all the way. So it's a little bit harder to control this thing. All the load, the engine, is, is now in the rear of the vehicle. So it's gonna make it really kind of tail heavy as I'm going backwards through this course. Kind of ends up swaying a little bit more. All these things are designed to go forward, designed to be stable going forward. So you're putting them you know, on, their, on their back foot here. You're kind of taking away all those advantages of the way the car was designed because now we're trying to push it backwards through the course. All right, we'll push it again one more time with the mirrors, try and go quick, not run anything over. Here we go. So we're looking out passenger side till we pick up that cone. Go, 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 go. Looking next one. Lose it, turn, pick up the next. Out of the mirror, turn, pick up the next. Out of the mirror, turn, pick up the next. Now we've got the lollipop. We could feed in some gas, really bring it around fast. You might almost get more than you want out of it. Right, so that's where the front wheel drive turns into a rear wheel. Once we're going backwards, rear wheel, rear wheel steering, it's just like a fork truck. And this thing's gonna turn really, really sharp on us. So I'm using the combination of over the shoulder and cones, um, using a combination of over the shoulder and the mirror as I back into this parking spot. Because again, it's kind of the cones really low as you're turning sharply. You can't pick up that cone from a distance. So you kind of can use a combination of both is looking over the shoulder, pick it up with the mirror, um, all those tricks to kind of use, use whatever you can, whatever tool you have in your toolbox, sort of get yourself moving down the road as safely and effectively as possible. All right, guys, thanks for joining us. Um, hopefully there are some points there that you can take away and, and you know, improve your own skills for, for precision backing. You gotta remember, you know, it's precision and then you can work on the speed after that. You can always take it up a notch once you, once you get the, uh, the technique and the skills down. All right, guys, thanks for watching and we hope to catch you next time. Hey, this is Chris Sear, CEO and partner at Team O'Neill. Thank you so much for visiting our channel. If you want to join our community, please comment, like, and subscribe. And if you want to learn more about us or book a course, please visit teamoneal.com. We look forward to connecting with you.